Hey friends, welcome back to the channel where we talk about how to boost your productivity and build better habits. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at why I switched from Rome Research to Obsidian. As soon as I discovered Rome Research, I was blown away. It's exactly what I wanted, but didn't know that I needed it. And as I mentioned before on this channel, the difference between Rome and Notion and Evernote is the bi-directional linking. And not just the fact that you can do it because there are other apps you can do the bi-directional linking, but that it happens automatically with unlinked references. I think this is the biggest feature in Rome Research and Obsidian is being able to sort through unlinked references and to see where you mentioned the topic of your page in other areas because that is how original ideas and thoughts form and can be developed in a much more structured way and a way that makes you such a creative genius like you are. I've been using Rome Research since April and when Obsidian came out I requested beta access and I got it and I poked around a little bit and I thought this is cool but Rome Research seems to be where all the attention is and I'm going to stick to that platform. However, there were a couple things I didn't like about Rome Research and so I wanted to keep my eye on Obsidian to see how those would develop and that community and the people around that would form. So let's jump into the content on why I switched from Rome Research to Obsidian. Before I get started, I want to say they're both incredible apps. They're both very powerful and I don't think one is better than the other. This is simply why I switched. The three main reasons I switched from Rome to Obsidian are the people, the privacy, and the future proofness of the app and their notes that are taken in it. First off, the people. Culture is important to me, community is important to me, and I want to support a product who encourages helpfulness and humility. There were some interactions that I've seen with the Rome community or Rome cult as they're called that just rubbed me the wrong way. A lot of the responses to people asking questions on the Slack or Twitter were just not very kind nor very helpful. I'm not saying this is how everyone is, but it seems this is the culture the users like and I simply don't. Plus, the Obsidian community has been great so far. There's a public Discord channel that encourages question asking with responses from a variety of people, no matter who asked it. I've had multiple positive interactions with their Twitter account and support channels. Just an all-around great community of people who truly want to help others take better notes and learn from those. In short, community and culture are big to me, and I enjoy Obsidian's more. Second reason I switched is the privacy. Your files equal your files. All the notes I take are locally stored on my machine in simple plain text files. More on that soon. No servers, no cloud, all private. This wasn't a major driving force behind my decision, but it was a factor. The downside of this, of course, is that your notes can't be accessed if you aren't on your machine. There are workarounds with backups to carry from laptop to laptop, but Rome did have a great way to access notes from a mobile device or your work or friend's laptop. Finally, the future-proofness of Obsidian. As I mentioned earlier, every page is locally stored on your machine in plain text files. What this means for the long term, of course, is that if Thanos snaps his finger again and the devs disappear, you'll still have access to your notes. In all honesty, Obsidian lacks a lot of things. You can't reference blocks, which I know is really, really important. And what one of the things that the founder loves to talk about is the fact that you can reference blocks and he talks about how big of a deal they are in Rome. And I believe they are. It's a really neat feature, but Obsidian doesn't have that. You can't embed blocks in Obsidian, so you can't nest blocks underneath each other or you can't embed blocks from a different page. And really, there are no blocks in Obsidian. Obsidian treats each page as a complete markdown file, so whenever you make a new page in Obsidian, it makes a new markdown file with that name on your laptop. So each page is reference each other, unlike Rome, where each basically each block is its own sort of information which can be accessed solely on its own. You can't do that in Obsidian. Plus in Obsidian, you cannot filter linked or unlinked references. Um, I know that is a huge deal to some people. If they have a ton of unlinked references on a page and want to filter those out, you can't do that in Obsidian. What I do to get around that is I do Command or Control F and just find the word or words that I'm looking for and then go through it that way. Kind of a lengthy process, not as ideal, but this is just what Obsidian lacks that Rome has. If you like this video and others on productivity and habits, consider subscribing to my weekly newsletter. Every Friday, I send out a newsletter with a little blurb about what's going on in the world of technology, plus tips on how to boost your productivity and build better habits. Visit daltonmabry.com for more info on that. Honestly, the community is a big reason I switch. I want to support a company and a culture that I believe in and that values humility and inclusiveness, and I believe Obsidian does that really, really well. And as most people have said, but shout out to Benji on Discord for saying it so well, to be fair, Row and Obsidian serve very different purposes, and there is sometimes little comparing an MVP with a sports car. Both are cars, have wheels, doors, and take you from one place to another, but saying one is better than the other doesn't make much sense. Well said, Benji, and I totally agree. 
I'm not saying Obsidian is better than Realm Research. I'm simply explaining why I switched from Realm to Obsidian and some of the things I found more attractive about Obsidian than I did Realm. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below in the comment section, or you can hit me up on Twitter at Dalton Mabry. Thanks so much for watching this video, and hope to see you in the next one. Missed. I, just... I can't do it.